Hey Starshine, how are you? I'm TK, and today I will play more of Stories, The Path of Destinies. So when I played this before and I got to this point, because this is as far as I got, I tried to figure out how to get to not show the little key icons, and I couldn't figure it out because there's supposed to be an option to turn that off. But then this time I did some research on it and apparently you only get that option after you get the true ending. Which seems counterintuitive because you kind of want to try and figure out the true ending yourself and then after that you don't really need to have to figure it out on yourself because you already know. But I also found out that it apparently only shows it for the first choice and after that you're on your own. Which is good, because I want to figure this out on my own. And it's also good because both of these times I figured out on my own that I needed to go with Lupino first. And I came up with this because Lupino is one of the truths. But the only time that he is at all interacted with is if you immediately save him at the beginning. There is no, if you go the other two routes, there is no other branching path that seems to lead back to Lupino. So, if we want Lupino, if we want to use that to our advantage, which the truth that we learn, which is that he's a traitor, we have to go to him first. So, let's go. Renato finally realized that Lupino was a traitor to the cause. And maybe Renato could use that somehow. Okay, so maybe it's after you make this choice that it doesn't show it anymore, but... But yeah, this one seems kind of obvious. Like, oh yeah, um, let's just completely forget about it and go the other way. The, to the original path so you can get all those bad endings. This is kind of obvious that you need to go the truth route, route with this. Renardo could use that somehow. What to do with the knowledge about Lupino's tre treason? Renardo would be foolish to trust Lupino again. He should confront him, or better yet, find a way to use the traitor against his new master, the Emperor. Maybe Lupino could be a game changer no, after all. He didn't quite put his paw on when he'd realized Lupino was working for the Empire. He'd never exactly seen Lupino sending coded messages to the palace, but he was sure. The rabbit had been on too many disastrous missions where he was the only survivor or where he accidentally missed getting on the boat that went down to the abyss in flames. If Renato could prevent Lupino from getting back to the fleet with all the intelligence he'd probably gathered, it might be worth the trip. <laughs> or maybe you figure it out because, you know, he killed you in a past life. How had they come to this? They'd been on so many adventures together. Lapino had talked Renato out of prison at least four times, and Renato had rescued Lapino from at least two lynch mobs. <laughs> oh, this area. We haven't been here since the very beginning, and it's so pretty. Oh, so this is you just back. Sticking jewels in your gauntlet just anywhere. What if you <laughs> dropped one and broke it? Luckily, oh. there was a bench right here. Okay, I did ask that question before. Ooh. I do really like the ones that I have right now, though. I really like those three. They're also nice colors. All right. Sweet. Oh. You could use this material to craft a spork. Or, or a sword. Okay. Give me a second. There we go. Wait. But can can I level one up? No. Which ones still need to be leveled up? This one needs more ore. Almost there. And so does this one. Not that I really use any other power aside from the healing ability, but... So yeah, that moved me ahead a bit.
get but he'd wrecked. Felt that the rabbit resented him. The Pino was hilarious because he was so down on himself and everyone else. But behind the laughs, he wasn't a happy camper. Ooh, was this payback? Or did the Empire have his little white tail in a vice? Hmm. I guess we're going to find out more about him then. Which is nice. I guess that's kind of the point of the true end is learning more. Hey, come on! It wasn't his fault. They look so breakable. It's true. Why are those two crowded together like that? Seems a little odd. Haha. <laughs> this place seems kinda I don't know. Wait. Is this progress? I don't know what progress is. It's so, like, oh, there just seems like there's so many paths here. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to go. I want to make sure I hit everything. I don't want to get locked into a place. That might be progress. Is something up here? Oh. Hello. It's a chest. Heck yeah. Oh, now I could probably... Ooh, have loved to improve his gear. Yep, now I can do it. But I don't think I can go all the way back. Um, it's over here. Um, oh, <gasps> workbench! Uh, ooh, what should we improve? You know I love this this sword. We're gonna improve it first. Yeah, look at it. Looks even cooler now. Um... I'm a bit concerned about locking myself into a... Okay, well, there's a fire door. I'm not sure if I've ever gone in that one. Oh! Hey! Almost completely bypassed you. Oh. This way. Oh, the music is so pretty. I feel like this is not progress. I feel like this has got to lead me to, like, a chest or something. Yep! No! Aw, oh, man! Oh, I hate those exploding guys so much. Um... A gem of power. <gasps> oh! You didn't find those every day. Heck yeah. That makes me- makes me very happy. Okay, I think I've explored around everywhere. Maybe? Um... There's an altar here. Ooh, and I can- I have- ooh, three! What we got here? Overall speed of the hookshot. Stun him and knock him down. Kill an any enemy in a single strike. Auto activates when reaching a certain combo threshold. Ooh. Uh, storm recovery. I already have that one. Further increase the maximum sword energy. Okay, um... Wait, so for this... True sword foo. I- oh, I- I have one more for that. So let's get that. That. And mm, that. Okay. Uh, can't go that way. So we gotta go this way. And then there's a fire door. So here we go. 
I don't think I've gone through this fire door, have I? What's behind door number two? And this was the first door we went through, though. Yeah, I don't recognize this. I don't think we've been here before. Ooh. Exciting. New places. Oh. Too early. Oh, so I have to be I have to be kind of speedy with that, huh? Oh! What in the Yes! Ooh yeah. And then open this, and we get some stuff. There was blood on this one. So it hadn't saved its owner. Well, save us. Okay, so we're back here. Um, what we got here? That's not a place we can go. We can't fly. We're a fox. I mean, we could be a flying fox, but then we'd technically be a bat. I love bats, though. Oh, here we go. That's where we need to go. Oh, chest! Yeah! All the ore. Okay, then we jump down here. <gasps> Look at the cute little mushrooms. I love them. Ooh, the music. <gasps> it's really pretty here. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we got glowing mushrooms. Am I? If... I don't want to miss anything. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. I'll just have a dash, See? thought Renato. Yep, dash all day long. Ah! Oh, I just, I love how this whole place looks. It's nice. Yeah, get wrecked. Ravens were landing everywhere from dropships. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, the rabbit would give the Empire all the intelligence he'd been stealing from the Rebellion. Oops. And they'd probably give him a medal. Mm, he'd have to be very back. careful about how he played Lupino. At the yeah. slightest hint of danger, the mad <gasps> rabbit would take off like a, like a rabbit. Yeah, like, like a rabbit. That is what he is. Yeah! Oh, I can come back here now. So happy. I was so sad when I couldn't go back here before. <gasps> oh, there's something to read. Let's read it. Okay. Dear Zenobia, how are you enjoying the academy? New friends must already be flocking around you, no doubt. Here in the palace, things are the same. I have much time to dedicate to my special hobby. I have been collaborating with Professor Calaveras and his team of experts to investigate the nature of the islands. My gut is telling me that the islands are alive. I think they have a will of their own. Do you hear me, daughter? No, because you are writing this to me. I cannot hear you. I am reading you. Our world could be more than floating masses of rock and, ro and water. Profes Professor Calaveras and his boys have made measurements. The islands are drifting, surrounded by endless sky. It is difficult to notice, but through careful measurements of the wind over long periods of time, they are certain the islands are moving westward. But where to? It may take centuries, millennia, it, to reach the destination. I have this strange idea. What if the islands are some sort of herd, and that they are deliberately searching for another herd of islands? Can you imagine new islands with their own inhabitants? The thought that we may not be alone. If only I could live long enough to witness the event. With love, Father. That is kind of interesting. That's pretty cool. You could sense the jewel's power. He had a feeling they were going to be great friends. <laughs> My friend. Oh, crap. I just kind of went in there without thinking. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, that wasn't too good. Oh, 
Hey, Lupino. It's been a while. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. I'm coming, buddy. Quote unquote. Bloody and exhausted, Renato finally reached Lupino. The rabbit was practicing shuffling his favorite deck. Hmm. Now that he knew what the rabbit was, there are a few things about him that Renato didn't find so amusing anymore. You uh. sent me <laughs> an urgent message saying that you're in danger. Oh, I am. The ravens are coming. Now, I've got a clever plan to kidnap Zenobia. Renato wanted to clap shackles on the rabbit and shout, You're a traitor, and I'm not falling for it. But if there was one thing Renato was sure of, it was that the core of the Sky River was dangerous mostly to its user. If he could put it in the Emperor's hands, old Lysengrim III might blow himself and his fleet up with it. Yes, that was it. <laughs> Denounced the traitor, Renardo realized how good an actor Lupino was. No surprise he had been fooled by that traitor. Maybe he should denounce the rabbit here and now, put an end to his schemes, and get some payback. Send the traitor to fetch the core. Maybe he could give that smug traitor the location of the Sky Ripper's core, and while Lupino delivers the unstable weapon to the enemy, Renardo would pay Zenobia a visit. So this is where, I mean, obviously, we're trying to get all the truths together, so just going like, hardcore, let's g just focus on Lupino being a traitor isn't going to get us anywhere. We need something from the Sky Ripper. It's not the armature. The armature is useless, but we know that the core can change the Iblis Stone, and we know that we're going to need the Iblis Stone in one way or another. I feel like, no, I'm, I'm just, I just kind of had a feeling because in the last ending I got where, I mean, heck, even, even Renato was like, there's something I should have done. But I don't know what to. I didn't know what to do until it was too late. And it was Zenobia was had the Iblis Stone and had gone nuts. And but what if the uh, Zenobia had the Iblis Stone, but they also had the core, and then the core was able to calm the Iblis Stone and stop Zenobia from going absolutely berserk on everybody. And obviously here, like, we're having Lupino get the core, and we're helping, and then we're going to get Zenobia. When I was thinking through this before, when I, when I, um, when I wasn't playing, when I wasn't recording, I was trying to think through, okay, what choices would I need to make? And I was like, I'm not going to have enough time to get everything. But, in this case, this would be Lupino gets the core, I get Zenobia, and then we can come together, get the Iblis Stone in some way or another, and then we'll be able to do something. So obviously, we, I mean, this is pretty obvious choice, but we're going to go with the core. Renato felt like a real hero, brave and smart. He told the rabbit all about the Sky Ripper's God's Eye core. I'll go get the core while you attack Zenobia, he told the rabbit. Oh, wait, I have an even better idea. I'll get the core and you attack Zenobia, <laughs> said the rabbit. Right, yeah, that is better. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. yeah. The traitor would make sure the Emperor got the core. Now Renato just needed the Emperor to use the core. If he could only get something that the Emperor wanted very badly. Zenobia. He could save her and bait the Emperor at the same time. Heck yeah. Of course we're going to save our girl. We love Zenobia. At least I do. I know about you guys, but I love Zenobia. I hope you guys love her too. Right. Now, all the night Yeah, we're back here. Fight his way through Zenobia's invading troops, sneak onto her ship and into her bedroom, and kidnap her without any of her dozens of guards alerting her. Then, he would rely easy, on her easy. love for him to convince her how evil her father was. So, she'd run away with him instead of going back to her father, who was going to blow himself up. <laughs> it... It'd sound a little risky. Little bit. But Renato had a feeling it would work out somehow. It always did. Actually, so far, it's always and it's always it always has ended up in you dying. So not so much. But I like your enthusiasm. Oh come on, not again. Well, they really needed to redecorate anyway. Yeah. 
I think so. Um, nope. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remembered that the pots there didn't break, but I didn't remember that this leads specifically to a chest and nothing else. Because <clears throat> I'm smart. I remember only the most important things. Haha. -ha. All right, let's get this open. So this way, we go up here. Yep. Nope. Hook. There we go. Yeah, we can't go back, so... Uh, no, that's the wrong button! Am I gonna get to- I doubt I'm gonna get to another 100 core. I wonder down there. Look at all those ravens flying around. It's kinda cool. I like ravens. I like birds. Crows are awesome. They're so smart. What kind yeah, get of raven can't fly? Thought Renato. <laughs> Took me a second before I'm like, wait, wait a second. Uh, oh, I get it. I, I'm picking up what you're throwing down, Renardo. Ooh, uh, what can we- oh, probably just new gems, but they're just leveled up. Yeah, critical chance and attack speed. So we only have one that's not level 3 yet, it's the treasure hunter. Everything else is level 3, so it's really cool. I'm- I'm- I'm hype. Um, we already went that way. Need the fire sword for this door. So that's what they meant by a firewall. What unlocks a firewall? I think you've made that joke before. Oh gosh, that's not what I wanted. Ta-da! Ooh, and then this is gonna get me that last level three, isn't it? Whoa, yep. Someone has spent a lot of money for a graduation present. <laughs> My graduation presents were eating at. Oh gosh, we gotta get this. Eating that Outback and... Yeah. And my Elgato. Heck yeah. Chest back here, I remember that. Alright, let's go. Now, are we going down the sewer or are we... Well, the sewer is open, but I frankly don't want to go down there again. Last time was not a fun time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had that door been open before? Nope, I just open it now. So now they're not going to drop any gems because I got all of them. Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't didn't see you there. No, I did! And you didn't see me there. Oh, no, no, no. No, don't look at each other. You can't guard each other. Didn't your mother tell you it's rude to stare? Snap Renato, a little smug. <laughs> it's true. Oh, shoot! I didn't think you would turn. Oh no! 
again. Didn't think y'all would turn. Ha! Oh! <laughs> okay. That was a close one. I thought I was screwed. Ha <laughs> ha. I know I didn't have to get you, but I wanted to. Wait, Lupino? Rado was halfway to Zenobia's encampment when Lupino showed up. He was disheveled and distraught. What are you they doing? jumped us. I barely got away. Oh. Uh, got the car. <laughs> sure. All going according to plan. <laughs> now he just needed Zenobia on his side. Mm, yes, that was even better. The Iblis Stone. Zenobia could get it. And then the Emperor would have to pursue them. Wait. No. The gem would corrupt anyone. Even her. That's it, he thought. Even Lapino. Even though Lapino was already a traitor. It would turn him against his secret oh. master, the Emperor. And would try to make himself Emperor. And the Emperor would have to defend himself with the core. Boom. <laughs> He's genius. Oh, but, but we do have a choice here. And as, as great as the Lupino thing does sound, that also sounds way more chaotic than what I had in mind. Then, like I was saying, Zenobia gets the Iblis Stone and then it gets merged with the core. I feel like that is a very important point there, is that when put together, the Iblis Stone and the core become, like, I don't know, calmer. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Well, the Iblis Stone shuts up. I, I know that. Um, as for Lupino going for it, I feel like that would just be pure chaos and that would not end well. So I, plus if I send Lupino for the Iblis Stone, does that mean I'm just not going to do anything with Zenobia? And clearly Zenobia has to be involved in here somehow. Um, and her love for me is probably going to help with getting the core merged with the Iblis Stone probably. So I'm going with my gut feeling, my original idea, my original feeling, and I'm going to go with Zenobia for the Iblis Stone. And so. Renato set about getting himself captured by Zenobia to turn her against her father. Once she knew the truth about her father's plans for her, he sent her to fetch the Iblis Stone. Unfortunately, once she had it, the Iblis Stone took hold of her. In a rage, she decided to assassinate her father and become Empress. Renato pursued her to the final battle to stop her becoming evil. Zenobia slew the Emperor. Lapino shot Zenobia. Renato killed Lapino. Bittersweet victory was at hand, but then the core exploded, destroying both the Imperial and Rebel fleets. Death, Dark Ages, the usual thing. What? Tried something bold and paid the price for it. Okay. Well, kind of glad they didn't let me play through that. Wait. Wait, but now this is blocked off. Now I have to go through the sewer. I don't want to go in the sewer, but does the sewer take me someplace else? I thought it just took me back to where Lupino was, wasn't it? Didn't, didn't it? Oh, oh, don't make the same mistake you did before. Hey. T turn around. Don't turn around. Uh oh, well. You never saw that coming. Though, honestly, I kind of want to just get into this. Even though I did it by accident before, it takes you, like, basically all the way through, and you don't have to deal with all these guys. So yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so why, why now? Why, why is it blocked off now? 
Hey, Lupino, can I go was past you to the void? To Zenobia's encampment when Lupino showed up. He was disheveled and distraught. They jumped us. I barely got away. Oh. Jumped us? Who's car. us, by the way? Oh, it was all going according Already. to Rick. Oh, I guess because oh, I should have caught that. His secret master, the Emperor. You would try I should have caught that. Emperor. The idea the Emperor for Lupino came up with himself. the truth marker. With the core. He thought Zenobia originally, but then when he, he thought of the genius. truth, he thought Lupino. So I should have caught that. I'm it. I'm done. This is terrible. Renata told the rabbit. If only I had gone for the Iblis Stone, but now it's lost in enemy territory. He handed Lupino a map. It gives the bearer so much power. We can only hope the Emperor never finds it. <laughs> said Lupino. I, I, I think someone's following us. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> you go on ahead. I'll check it out. <laughs> and with that, Lupino hopped off with the map. Have fun! Oh cool, so we get to go forward and do this. So it's good. Though, at this point, like I said, the chests don't- well, I could still get ore. Those flames really bring out your eyes. Get wrecked, all oh, y'all! Sorry, the burning was kind of fun. Ah. I may do need to use more than just healing. I already read that. That's about... That's the note to Zenobia where... Her father talks about using her as a sacrifice. Because that's a great idea. Father of the Year Award award to the the emperor man oh crap there's an exploding guy i think he exploded so that's good no get to the red guy oh come on he was ready to go down Style, awesome! Ooh! All right. Renato slinked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. She was curled up on her bed. Mm, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was, how sleek, how soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She was made of smoke, and he noticed he had a very solid blade to his throat. Did you really think you could capture me? <laughs> her familiar voice. I just wanted to chat, said Renato. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? He needs a sacrifice. Someone who truly loves him, to make a bargain with the lost gods. That's a vicious lie. He wants to bring them back. No, that, that, that's crazy. Why would anyone... They could make him immortal. An eater of souls. And with that, her eyes widened. She understood. Renato told her how he had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred. How he had slept in a burnt village. At midnight... The Emperor's victims had come to him in his dreams to tell him of the hideous eldritch rituals they'd been sacrificed in. He could still see those kittens and puppies. Their wide, sad eyes, their moist noses. You can't prove that. I've got a witness at the observatory. On to the Nexus! He couldn't tell her, not yet, why he was really here. 
He didn't want her to be anywhere near the fleet when her father blew himself and the Pino up. So he told her about how the Emperor's obscene rituals had raised ancient artifacts out of the land. How he'd followed the appalling trail of the hideous horrors His Majesty had perpetrated for the sake of his own immortality. Any of this ring a bell? He said. He told me it was all lies. You've always known when I was lying. I always hated that about you, said Renato. <laughs> The rebellion had started after atrocities that the Empire hushed up. Renato had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred for one book. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor had done to them. Hmm. That's kind of a somber note to end on, but I, I'm going to end the episode here. And then, hopefully, next episode we'll get to the true ending. So, on that note, remember to shine your light in every world. Bye!